I think we live actually a very particular moment since two years. And with this situation, I was locked in Paris. And we do this show by telepathy. produce physically the pieces inside the studio and in the studio I know the relationship between the different form, the different element, uh, the different question of the relief of the show because for me the show look like a landscape where you can do a ballad and I like the idea you can turn around, you can have different point of views and or you can have a different telescopage point of views because the sculpture look like a scoletor because the pieces have some transparency inside the construction of the shape. The sculptures use metal, plastic, different type of fabrics, and for me, all this type of fabrics, it's a part of uh, emotional charge, emotional uh, relation with the object. And that is really important because it speaks about the bodies. You, you see, for example, uh, a pants of a worker, a part of pants, and I think that can give some information because everybody uh, in the world can understand this type of pants like unconscious, unconsciously, you can understand. The videos, it's really important because it's a possibility to have one avatar with some obsession, cigarette, lemon, gel hydroalcoholic, uh, COVID, uh, machete, uh, the colonial boat and the different thing. And this avatar have one like a meme, a meme movement. He does the same gesture all the time. He put his hand or her hand inside his head and he take a book one by one. And he give a very long bibliography with different author, like for speak about what is the Pan-African vision actually and share that with the public. decide to give a carte blanche to the amazing and brilliant singer and composer Hanais to compose like a, a soundtrack of one movie. And Hanais was in Jamaica during the process I'm realized the sculpture and I'm asked her, okay, maybe we can share or discuss about the poetry of emancipation, like Aimé Césaire, like Paul Gilroy. And she uses field recording uh, and different improvisation moments. And I think that can be really interesting for connect uh, the moment people can look at this sculpture or this sculpture inside the show. When people go inside my exhibition, I can imagine sometimes it can be difficult to understand because I have many elements and sometimes people are afraid about the question of the perception, but I'm playing with the parameter of the perception about the, the vision, about the, the sound, about how you can walk inside and you can be a bit lost. but but lost not lost in the it's a good sense you know when you you don't know something 
and you go somewhere, for example, uh, just ask you some question about yourself, how you can find your position. Like when you are in the show, what I, I need to see, what I need to understand, you ask you some question. If you do that in your life, for example, I think it's the most beautiful thing. Thank you.